bad day today. I was upset with myself because I been working very hard to show you this process in real time. Everybody's been asking me if applying pigments takes longer than working with acrylic paint. And it's for me it's the same amount of time. In fact, it's I think it's even faster. If you're concerned about the sealer drying, I have two models going. So when I have to go out and seal one thing, I'll go work on the other. I get a good routine going, I get a lot accomplished, and it definitely goes a lot easier for me than trying to layer some acrylics sometimes. But I was upset because here I was doing all this real time, and I get painting along, and I completely forgot to hit the record button, so we missed part of it, but it's not much. It was just a little bit of pigment on the lips and some touch-ups on the jewelry, the body piercings that are on her face but in the meantime i found some royalty free soundtracks for 99 cents so guess what you guys are getting music in this video whether you want it or not i had a blast with this Okay, now it's time for me to get back to work here. You'll notice I do use these pointed cotton swabs a lot. They are worth their weight in gold when it comes to blending. I use them for cleanup. I use them for an eraser. The color shapers are wonderful and fantastic, but I couldn't do it without the cotton swabs themselves. And here I have applied the black to the piercings and then I'm using antique silver on the actual jewelry. It's kind of awkward. It's just really strange to have that much on somebody's face. But that's also another reason why I did not put much eyeshadow on her. I went with the same blue, just a touch of it, that I have in her eyes. And then I took this antique silver and used it to blend on the eyelids. So she had just touch of eyeshadow. I didn't want to get too happy with it because she's got all of that bling on her face. So we don't need to get nuts here. The one thing that's nice about the pigments is I don't have to fix a mistake right away as long as I don't seal it. If I seal it, then I'm in trouble, which is part of what I think I did. She's got a little mark on her cheek, and I think I missed it. I didn't see it at first, and I sealed, and now I'm going to have a heck of a time with it. So right now I'm going back to the base coat, just popping up the highlights a little bit. She's very subtle and soft in her face. She doesn't have a very strong bone structure like the elf does. So I really want to accent her facial features with a highlight. And I'm going back through, smoothing it out, getting rid of the metallics, getting rid of the extra powder, trying to get rid of that little mark on her cheek because it certainly is not a beauty mark.
Yep. I had to bust out the acrylics to uh, cover up some of the mistakes. I got a couple little things just here and there. Nothing really major. But it's also good that you can see how to repair some mistakes. In my case, I like to use the acrylic paint. I have a friend, the model horses, she will actually sand down the layers till she gets to the problem, fix it, and then rebuild it back up. I've never been successful with that. I've actually ruined some models trying that. In this case, you got to remember that pigments are translucent tints, so you have to keep the paint thin, but if you get it too thin, it won't cover the boo-boo. So you have to really watch it. And But matching the color is, because you have your paint so thin, matching the color is generally not the hardest part. It's getting it on, usually it goes on too thick and stands out like a sore thumb, or it's going to go on too thin and you're sitting there going, oh my gosh, it's going to take me a year to get this done. But after a while, you get kind of a hang of it and you know what to do with how thick your paint needs to be. It also depends on the color that you're using too. All right, that brings us to the end of this segment. I've just got a couple of more I've got to get edited. Thanks for watching and as usual, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments and we'll see you next time. Unless I decide to go surfing. <laughs>